Welcome back. Colin Allred portrays himself as a principal Democrat, pragmatic enough to engineer compromise in a contentious, deeply partisan, deeply polarized congressional atmosphere. Rudy, I want to get your take on Allred's high profile vote with the Republicans on the border resolution. Is he just being a truth teller? Uh, Greg, I think uh, it was all about protecting his marketing as a moderate. And, you know, it's somewhat of a political calculated risk. That's why my word was zone blitz drawing in on his stint in the NFL. Now for those who don't know, a zone blitz is to design is designed to confuse the offense. It's an attempt to get the linebacker that Allred was uh, to sack or pressure the QB. Now Allred is trying to do the same thing with Gutierrez with his strategy, win the race with moderates and independents, and if he wins the primary, use the same game plan against Cruz. It could work or like the number of sacks that he had in his short four years in the not for long league, he could end up with his big zero. <laughs> All right, Stephen, we've heard from Allred's principal opponent, Roland Gutierrez last week, and he accused Allred of aligning himself with the likes of Matt Gates and Margaret Taylor Greene when it comes to border security. Now, do you think Texas Democrats can see through that kind of allegation? First, I'm going to say we might need to investigate Rudy for sign stealing uh, if he's calling defensive plays. Now, uh, back on the topic, uh, I mean Gutierrez is sticking to his strategy, right? And that's what he has to do. He's a he's a peer, he's trying to attract the more progressive wing of the party. And in primaries, you typically get more votes from those who are the most thirsty to turn out, which typically are the most left and the most right of your party. But when it comes to this topic. Even Democrats are now being more vocal about the problem on the border. And while trying to attach Colin Allred to Matt Gates or Marjorie Taylor Greene, I, I just don't think Democrats are going to uh, be deceived by, by that. And not saying Gutierrez is trying to deceive people, but I don't think that play is going to work. Fair enough. Rudy, I ended the last segment by labeling Congressman Allred a centrist. Let's just assume the polls hold up and it's all red versus Cruz in November. Will the congressman's moderation make him more attractive to Texas independents who tend to vote R, but may be just flat out tired of Ted? You know, Greg, on paper, it seems like the right strategy, but I'm beginning to believe that this tired of Ted spin is more of a media thing uh, than a real thing, and that it only gets a response out of Democrats when you hear it. From what I'm hearing, and from Allred's first TV campaign, if he wins the primary, the game, the game plan will be essentially a reboot of 2018 and the 2020 strategy, and that is abortion and anybody but Trump. Trump's the bad guy. And those were the big issues in both of those years. And both made the uh, Cruz Beto Senate race, you know, pretty close. And they splashed that predicted red tsunami in the recent midterm in 2020. So maybe All Red will finally get that first big sack. All right, Stephen, we've seen moderate, pragmatic Democrats run statewide before and get close but still lose. Mike Collier in the lieutenant governor's race comes to mind. Could this likable, very earnest former NFL linebacker achieve what others have not done in 28 years? Hey, it's going to... Democrats have uphill. They've had uphill, as you mentioned, for, for two decades. It's going to come down to turnout, and if the all red, let's say he's the nominee, uh, his ground game, because voters have shown that even though the top of the ticket may not spell good for the bottom of the ticket, let's say a Biden Trump rematch as what we're expecting, then all red's going to have to have a killer ground game and convince some people on the ground in person. And then turnout is going to have to be really big. Um, is it possible? Sure, everything's possible, uh, but it's very uphill. All right, Rudy, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. All red is killing the competition when it comes to fundraising, and he's up on the air in major markets. Uh, what do you make of that? You know, I, I think that it only shows what Stephen just uh, mentioned. Um, you know, he has the momentum. Uh, he has a good message, and it's going to be about moderates and independents, but it, like Stephen said, it's going to be about the turnout. And if Trump is going to be the Republican nominee, I think that is going to be the key. And if that's the case, look for an upset. All right, Stephen, 20 seconds. Uh, all Red has all the money right now. 
He has the money. Is the the real question is will Allred be able to win outright? The lower candidate uh, would need to get more than one percent of the vote to help Gutierrez force a, a runoff. All right, let's leave it there. You can see the interview and any of our past interviews by going to our YouTube pages and keep the conversation going by hitting us up on social media. The Texas Trio will be back next week. We're watching some emerging issues in Congress with Ken Paxton and, of course, on the border. So don't forget to let us know what you think the issue is.